Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to create this gear. Um, we're going to be work, working off of this technical drawing um, and what we're going to end up with is something like this. So follow along and see how you do. So here's our image of the, the nut that we're going to make. Um, we can see the various dimensions there and then it's got a 15 degree taper. Um, so we're going to get started with this top view over here by drawing several circles. So we've got 26 millimeters outside diameter, 20 millimeters to that point uh, where our radius centers on and then 12 millimeters radius to to the inside and then 29 to the lip so let's get started um, so I'll start with a sketch on the top plane center diameter circle you can push C or you can select it up there so 26 millimeters radius a 20 millimeter radius I'm gonna make this one a construction line so that would be 40 and then the inside diameter is 12 so that's 24 and then we had one at 29 So these are the, the circles that we're going to be using to dimension off of. Um, I'm just going to draw a line up. L for line. X, change it to construction line. And a straight up there. So we had the, the radius starting over here at that point. Um, for the beginning of our first gear. So if you look at it, 60 degree angle, 2 millimeters, and the outside edge is at the 26 millimeter radius. So I'm going to do a little circle here, take off construction, center it on those two lines, and that will be 2 millimeters. Actually, there's a two millimeter radius, so that's going to be four millimeters. Let me just change it to four millimeters quickly. Four millimeters. And then we've got lines coming down, um, coming past there at a 60 degree angle. So I'm just going to draw these lines intersecting just below, just below our circle. Just connected to this top line, this upward line, and in contact with the outside circle. And then we will make them tangent to our circle. Now I'll push D for dimension and dimension these lines at a 60 degree angle. So that is the that is what we're looking at. If I trim this away, T4 trim. We can start to see what that component will look like. So there's that component. And we're just gonna pattern that. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm going to pattern that 12 times. So S, to bring up the menu, shortcut menu, pattern, we'll choose a circular pattern, and we'll select these three. The center point will be the center point of our circle, and I want 12. Uh, 
Okay, now we're going to do the same thing we did, trim. Oh, that's the wrong line. Control Z, just to undo there. I seem to have deleted that line. So what I can do here is create an arc, a center point arc. Click over there and join it to that point because that wasn't a straight line. That that line was derived from a circle. So finish sketch. Now if I look at this, I can see that it's nine millimeters high and then that center ring is one. Let's extrude this now. I'll select this, the outer part, remember this inner part is going to a different height. So nine millimeters and then extrude. Let's turn our sketch off. This inner ring to 10. So 10. We can turn our sketch off now. So that's pretty close, except we've got that taper, that 15 degree taper running from the outside diameter of that inner ring. So I'm going to go to a front view. We're going to draw a sketch on the front plane. So we've projected that point over there. What I'm going to start with doing is on the center point, on the center line over here, we're going to use that line and draw it out to a distance of 26 because that is that is the full distance of the nut or the gear. So once I've done that, I'm going to draw a line down here. Doesn't really matter how far it is, so long as it's far enough for our next line to meet up with it. So again, line tool on this point that we've projected, just touching this line. And dimension this line against this line, we want 15 degrees. So type in 15. Now we've got that little section there, finish sketch. Now I can say revolve. I'll select this profile. Let me just turn off the body so I'm definitely selecting the correct thing. Select this profile. Turn back on the body and the axis. We will choose that. Turn on the body, revolve cut, and that's our part. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you need any help with any of your work, you can contact me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com or leave a comment. Till next time, bye.